there is one imposter among us and things are definitely not as they seem. Hello my Nakamatachi, this is Joy Girl, and this is a question I cannot ignore. Do we have a traitor in our midst at Egghead Island? This isn't the first time we've asked ourselves this question because things seemed fishy back when it was announced that the Frontier Dome went offline and this is what allowed the CP0 agents to make their attack. But back then, the possibility of a traitor was only a speculation which could have also been explained by some other potential scenarios. For example, like Luchi suggested, it was way too convenient and it seemed possible that the dome going down was actually on purpose to let the mystery double agent working for slash with Vegapunk, later revealed to be Stussy, a way to get in. But now, with the latest development of Pythagoras going bang and Shaka still confirming the dome to be an issue, not to mention that someone is leaking information to Big News Morgan, things are looking more and more sus. Which is why we're here, to get to the bottom of this mystery, Among Us, Egghead Edition. But speaking of sus, please do subscribe to this channel for more One Piece discussions. <laughs> Starting with the most obvious of subjects, Lilith. Lilith seems like the most straightforward answer given that she's inherited Vegapunk's evil nature. Her name refers to a demonic figure in Mesopotamian and Judaic mythology, and so betrayal does seem to fit the bill. She's been portrayed as violent and also didn't like pirates when they showed up at Egghead Island, meaning that she may be opposed to working with the Straw Hats and sides with the world government instead. And perhaps the most damning of all, she was nowhere to be seen in chapter 1074 meaning that she could have been the unseen, unknown assailant who bombed Pythagoras. But then there are also counter-arguments too. She seemed to really care for her fellow satellites, expressing relief when Edison was saved and eager to fight the CP0 for what happened to Atlas. Also, as a very impulsive character, it's hard to picture her as someone capable of being a double agent. She seems very much like, fight first, think later. But on the opposite side is Edison, who is very much think, 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 much like his name suggests. But that's not all this name suggests because the real-life scientist whom this satellite was inspired by is widely believed to be quite the traitor. Thomas Edison, well known for being the inventor of the light bulb amongst other things, is often accused for having stolen the idea. And that accusation is neither wholly wrong or right, but definitely misconceived. It's true that light bulbs did exist prior to Edison's invention, but it's also true that Edison is the man responsible for creating a practical and efficient light bulb. And much like the real-life inspector, suspecting the satellite Edison seems to be a bit misguided. His only crime seems to be having the same name as Thomas Edison. And Edison has demonstrated at multiple points that his brain is just so full of inventions and new ideas that it seems unlikely that he even has the brain space to think about betraying his fellow brethren. And lack of brain space is also a perfect description for York, who actually may not have a brain. York definitely doesn't seem like she could conjure up a plan like this, so we can move right along. Unless... Nah. Unless... Atlas is another satellite who just perfectly embodies the personality traits she's inherited from Vegapunk, violence. She just seems too brash, too impulsive to pull off something like this. Not to mention that she was down when the dome went down. Unless you said that she wasn't actually really down and that her behavior in fighting Luchi could be taken to be a suspicious move, completely ignoring Shaka's warning that Luchi's just way too strong. Maybe as a master plan that would make it seem like she's completely out of the picture while she's the one that actually played around with the dome. Ultimately, trying to tie Atlas into all of this just seems way too much to be in the tinfoil territory. And since you mentioned territory, we have to talk about just how convenient it is that Pythagoras can be placed at the right location at the same times that two, not one, two suspicious events took place. First, when the dome went down, Pythagoras was the one with visuals on whether someone was in the control room or not. Who's to say? that he didn't lie. And who's to say that more recently, Pythagoras isn't the one who set the bomb off himself? I mean, come on, we've all seen the twist in the movies when it's actually the victim who was injured is actually the perpetrator who self-inflicted harm just to turn down the heat. And Pythagoras has Vegapunk's wisdom. So is it wise to self-inflict an injury to throw everyone off? Or is it unwise that he's using such an age-old, obvious tactic that we could see right through? Is it wise that he knew that we would question whether he would really use such an obvious strategy, therefore suspecting him less as a result. Dude, he's already messing with us. And last out of the satellites is Shaka. Ah, uh, Shaka. Good old Shaka. Literally, inherited Vegapunk's goodness. So him being
being the good guy makes it seem less likely that he's the traitor. He's also been really helpful so far and lived up to his so-called goodness. Or has he? Now you said you knew where Bonnie was the entire time, didn't you? Yes! Isn't it true that means you knew where the Stella was the entire time too? And isn't it true that you led Pythagoras into a trap, knowing he'd be blown up? And isn't that why you have the word CAUTION written on your left sleeve as a warning from Oda that we should be wary when dealing with you? Yes! Yes, it was me! And isn't it true that you wear a helmet because you really love Daft Punk? Wait, what? It's hard to deny that Shaka seems at least a little suspicious. Apart from the bigger shock factor that would arise from the fact that a satellite we knew to be good was actually the traitor all along, even Shaka's actions in making Luffy run around for no reason when he knew that there was no point, it seems very much like something that's being played off as comedy, all the whilst covering up something fishy. <laughs> But then Shaka's name, given that it was inspired for the Japanese name for Buddha, it seems somewhat non-fitting that someone so pious would be the traitor. And his interactions with Dragon and Robin earlier on really did seem quite genuine. Which causes one to wonder, maybe Shaka just has some grander plans at play here. A situation where Shaka is the traitor, but for good reason? Or is it a case where Shaka simply believes that good is on the side of the world government? Or is it neither? because the satellites aren't the only characters in this arc. We can't forget Stussy, who yes, although has only been very recently revealed to have been a double agent, but may have been a triple agent all along. Well, well, well. How the turntables... She's been with the CP0 for, I imagine, quite a long time, so I wouldn't put it past her to have been fooling Vegapunk all this time. She is, after all, a perfect human clone, therefore with free will. Or perhaps an even more obvious suspect, Karibu. What the hell is Karibu up to now? Given his literally slimy nature and his past track record, him being at Egghead Island whilst there are suspicious events occurring definitely sets off some alarm bells. And blabbering to Big News Morgans is exactly exactly the type of crap I would expect from Caribou. Has Morgans been the someone that Caribou's been wanting to tell his information to all along? How far back does this go? And what do you think about all of these suspects? Let me know by leaving a comment below. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more One Piece discussions. You can also become a Joyfleet Discord server or become a channel or Patreon member. And I do want to thank all our executive officers for help supporting the channel. This is Joy Girl, and I'll see you again soon.